Hey yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the progress that I've made within a year and a half of having a Digital Storm gaming PC. So what I mean by this is we're going to go into my YouTube studio and actually I'm going to show you how much money I've earned from that video with 5,000 subscribers and over 145,000 views. So I hope this video is a little bit entertaining for you. YouTube is not about earning money, it's about the passion. It's about the passion to create content for you guys and that's it. So I just wanted to share this with you so that maybe some of you that are younger than me in terms of YouTube status and or maybe some people who are just curious so you actually see the numbers that I'm dealing with right now. So again, this video has been up for I think about a year and a half, almost two years I think in June of this year. So within that amount of time, you're about to see how much money I've earned from that. And this was from I think when I had 500 subscribers all the way up to about the 5,000 that I have now. Okay, so here you can see that we're already on the video details of the Lynx Digital Storm Gaming Computer Review. So, look at this thumbnail over here. 9 minutes and 47 seconds, and it's the worst thumbnail I have, and I can't recreate it, so GG's. Anyways, let's go to analytics. Let's see. So, you can see that it has 148,683 views, which my typical is between 60 and 170, which is actually, for me to get that back in the day was insane. So, for me to let alone get 148,000 is incredible. And obviously, this is since the video was published. It's still gaining views probably about a, a 400 a day which you know it's good it's it's extremely good but you know I wish it was on the normal videos that I have so you can see the watch time obviously it's a lot more compared to what I have before that's an hour so 5,000 almost 5,400 watch time hours which actually is insane my subscribers I gained 502 from that which actually was a very good video but that was at the time when digital storm was going through it's a really weird phase from where it was just a simple like what I was saying in the other digital storm videos of like how it was performing and then the the different options that it had and then obviously now the newer stuff that it has within it so you know it was a popped off video I hit it in time but obviously I didn't capitalize it and that's why I'm here so you can see my estimated revenue is thirty two dollars and twenty seven cents and this is after the entire time it's been uploaded so from when I had 500 subscribers all the way up to 5,000 subscribers and when it's at zero views to 148,000 views that's how much I've earned so a big thing to take away from this video is that when you're monetizing your videos everything is based on your subscriber count and view ratio so for instance if someone has say 2 million subscribers and they're getting an average of 400,000 views per video they're probably earning well over a uh, 10 to 20 thousand dollars per video and I'm not exaggerating that's just how much of your subscriber ratio really impacts your RPM and CPM which the RPM is the revenue per mil which is basically what advertisers are willing to pay per thousand views which actually in this case we're gonna go to the revenue side and show you exactly what I'm talking about so you can see here this is when it fluctuated you can just see it kept popping off and then it just pretty much fell and then it popped off again so the RPM like I was saying that's the revenue per mil it's how much you earn per thousand views then the playback CPM for me I only earned two dollars and 22 cents the RPM for me was 22 cents so obviously I was not earning anything I think for a lot of you are wondering the exact same thing as myself if this video Video had the same amount of views but I had well over probably a hundred thousand subscribers or even ten thousand subscribers my RPM probably would have been about two or three dollars and then my playback CPM would probably have been at about 15 bucks I know that's a huge range but then you have a period of just where it's just a couple cents couple cents and then you finally hit four dollars on June 27 2020 and then it just kept going the same old same old and then the day where it hit thirty four dollars and seventy seven cents October 20th 2020 and you might be thinking well then how have you only earned $32 over the entire time so what this is is it's basically they take half of it and then you're over here at $70 you know they have to take a certain percentage out of it and then it's just a whole bunch of other things that I don't even personally know about YouTube they literally take a bunch you can see my estimated ad revenue is $29.77 uh, premium. I don't even know what the hell premium is, but long well, story short, guys, I don't even know if I'm allowed to show you this, but I mean, I really just wanted to show you like the in depth about what goes on within revenue and the overall perspective of viewer to subscriber ratio. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is not a sign for me saying like I just want money. That's why I'm monetizing my videos. It's not. I just want to show you guys the in and outs of what this all is. Now, do me a favor, guys. If you've made it to this part of the video, if you would like to see me 
expose myself in terms of how much I've actually made from YouTube from the time I've started YouTube back in 2016 to the current date of 2021. Drop a like on this video, I'll make one. Also remember, there's a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, mint condition, ultralight 2 Cape Town. Final mouse guy, it's a great mouse. You should definitely check it out if you haven't. So you guys will be with a great gaming mouse if you play PC, hopefully. If not, then I guess you get a collector item at that point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.